G'day folks. Okay, so today I'm going to take you on a bit of a um, trip around Pattaya, Jobtian, and um, it's basically give you a look around and sort of tell you why I like where I am compared to um, Central Pattaya. But we'll go and have a look and um, check it out. Now I'm going to do this whole vlog probably on the bike, so uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we're going to go ring. Camera around. I'm going now, we're going to head down to um, Patea Beach, the north end of the beach, we're going to ride right along the beach. Then we go up near uh, Walking Street and then we're going to take up to Soy Bacow and show you the, the two main parts of um, Central Patea. And then after that we'll head to um, Jomptian and I'll show you around Jomptian and I'll tell you what I think of both places and why. And um, there's a few places in between, I'll show you those as well. On our left is Terminal 21. Now, Patia has got a definite advantage with the big shops and shopping centres. It's got Terminal 21 and it's got Central uh, Festival and it's got a few others too. So, um, definite advantage there for Patio if you like your shopping and stuff. But Jomtian's got plenty of stuff and it's not far to go if you need to come into Patio. So, it's all pretty good. Now, just on our right hand side, sticking over the top of these buildings, you'll see this new space hotel. It looks, um, it looks a bit like an alien, it's incredible. Um, a few guys have done videos on it and um, yeah, it's pretty special. So it's at about this point where my GoPro started playing up, the um, microphone started getting a bit dodgy and um, the sound sort of just give up the ghost. So from here on it's all um, a voiceover, so I'm going to talk you through it and show you around town. As you can see, there's a bit of work going on. There's usually a bit of work going on on Pattaya Beach. It's a pretty good spot. Now down this end of the beach, it's really nice. It's got all the big hotels. It's got some really nice bars and restaurants down here associated with the hotels. So it's a, a pretty good spot and it's a lot quieter than the other end. So if you're here for a holiday and more relaxation than checking out the, the craziness down the other end of the town, this is the place to be. And as you can see on the left, there's a you know good selection of bars and stuff. So it's, it's pretty good. Okay, these blue trucks. With people, they're called song towers or bard buses. So if you need to get around, they're all over Patia. Um, you just wave to them; they come pick you up. Ten baht or forty Australian cents, and um, they'll take you on their normal runs around the around the town. Now, when you want to get off, you just hit the buzzer. They stop. You go and pay them through the window, and off you go. So they're a great system. They should have them in um, Patong because Patong taxis and tuk tuks are just an absolute rot. I think someone's on the take there. Patia Beach Road is quite a long road and it has a lot of side streets or soys. Um, it's good to go exploring the side street soys. Um, there's often some pretty cool stuff down there like bars with pool tables and um, restaurants and all kinds of stuff. Massage places, there's legit massage places as well as um, special massage places there's just stacks to look at there's places where you can buy t-shirts and all kinds of stuff so it's really worth a, a wander around to have a look so you don't miss out on much if you're interested in water sport there's stacks of stuff you can do here there's the um, parasailing you can hire jet skis but just okay with the jet skis there's been a few scams happening over the years and stuff so just watch out for that check the jet ski out be a bit smart about it make sure it's got no damage or if it's got damage highlight it and take a picture of it and um, that way they sort of can't pin it on you because if they pull you up and say you've damaged their jet ski it's not going to end well they're going to um, try and hit you up for money and the chances are you probably have to pay it if you don't highlight the problem beforehand so just be aware of that folks so um, also just up here on our left is soy seven and eight there's some great bars along the beach but also down these side soys there's a, some awesome bars up towards um, second road and that they're um, really really good and um, towards I think on Soy 7 there's three bars that continuous right up to the corner there they're real good bars girly bars and they get a lot going on usually police are waving me over let's see what happens my last time in suit you have less than I do okay so are you going I'm doing making YouTube you're on YouTube on YouTube, yeah. 
You should be to come. You should be to come. Oh. You only can you win. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, that policeman was a good guy, had a good sense of humour. He said, yeah, see you tomorrow, and I started laughing. Yeah, there's a lot of street boats out along the beach, and you can go up and someone will take you to Kolan and stuff like that, which is an island just off, off here. It's just up further, you can catch like a ferry, and it takes about an hour to get there, and it's about 20 or 30 bucks. It's about, you know, $1.20. Pretty cheap. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, I was filming down here the other day guys, I was walking along the beach in front of these umbrellas and um, something a bit weird happened, well I thought so, it's never happened to me before and I, I'd sort of never come across it before. Um, yeah, walking down here with my camera and all of a sudden there was a freelancer in one of these places under the umbrellas with the people that rent out the umbrellas and get your drinks and stuff and all of a sudden, do you want to have a drink with me? Are you lonely? Uh, can I have a drink with you? Where are you going? This kind of thing and all of a sudden, you know, you don't see them up ahead normally they're on the streets and near these um you know these monuments and steps and stuff like that and you usually see them ahead but she just sprung up out of nowhere and asked and now this happened a couple of times so, so it was in several different places now this is a pretty quiet day in patio guys now you can see the cars and motorbikes zipping around everywhere and this is really quiet but it can be quite chaotic and hectic going along here and um, the further you get down closer to Walking Street the worse it gets so just bear that in mind that's one thing that Jomtian has in its favour the traffic is uh, a lot less than um, Padia. So guys I'm going to take you for a walk through Walking Street there won't be much going on there might be the odd bar open but um, Walking Street doesn't come to life until late afternoon some of the clubs don't even open until 10 o'clock at night so I'll give you a bit of an idea but uh, I just want you to have a look around and the place is amazing at night the light the, the lights and everything lights up the girls come out and it's just crazy you know it's a zoo um, nothing like it used to be prior to COVID but um, it's it's getting back there you know more people are coming and um, it's um, it's a spectacle to say the least One thing you've got to give the ties, guys, is they get things done. They don't muck around. If you took video of this last year or whatever before, they changed it and ripped up the road and that, it would look heaps different. So you get a chance, have a look. But it, that, yeah, like I said, they don't muck around, guys. Can you guess where we are guys? This is the famous soy pothole. So it's only early so you're not going to see you know what it's normally like at night but um, it's a great place to visit and check out even during the day you, you know there's some bars open and stuff so it's pretty cool but it's at, at night you have to come down this soy it's um, off soy cow and it's um, a great soy it's got so much going on it's got bars and go-go's and all kinds of stuff so um, massage like all the places around here just absolutely crazy and well worth a look it's a bit of a hike to walk around here but there are bad buses everywhere so you can do that so it'll save your legs a bit but um, okay great fun to visit for me guys but not for me to um, yeah to not not my like cup of tea it's just too much for me it's just crazy you fight the traffic you're walking between cars and it's fumey and yeah it's just it's just full-on Just before you get to Soy Bacow, on our right is the Triangle Bar. It's in the corner of those two streets. It's a good bar. Oh, it has a lot of music and stuff. It's a good place to go. It's a bit loud, 
Okay, coming up, Sloma Cow. Now check this out guys. Now this is Crazy Street and the traffic can be absolutely insane. This is uh, Bacow Market at the bottom of Soy Bacow. It's very popular, popular with the locals. Um, they sell a lot of clothes and all kinds of food and stuff, so it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, now we're, we're around the other side of the market, turning onto Soy Bacow. Now it's pretty early, folks. To be fair, so it's about 11 o'clock. So mo a lot of the places aren't open yet. They're getting ready to get open, and some of them don't open till a bit later. But this is um, one of Patia's most popular streets. It's full on and um, it is a lot of good fun um, the traffic's not so bad now but it does get chaotic just a shout out to all the people that gave me um, support with my um, depression video um, that means a lot to me guys and it does help you know like the, the main thing that I find with depression is I sort of um, go and hide and then um, when I talk to people, it makes me it always makes me feel better. I don't know why, you know, I go and hide or whatever. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for all the comments and supports. Um, I'm gonna try and you know beat this. Well, I know I'm probably not gonna beat it, but you know I'm gonna battle it and um, keep going. You know, I'm not gonna give up. If you've never been to Pattaya before, make sure you um, come to um, Soy Bacow. It's too easy to miss because most people spend most of the time on um, the beach road. They go and see Walking Street and Soy 6. But you've got to come over here. It's a must. LK Metro, Soy Bacow. It's a crazy place and it's, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's absolute chaos too. Um, but, yeah, having said that, it's absolutely amazing. It's a lot of fun. But, you know, for me, <laughs> I like going there once in a while. That's enough for me. Okay, folks, so after we leave Soiba Cow, we'll head over to um, Jomtian and I'll show you around there. And um, it's quite different. It's a different um, atmosphere. It's a different vibe. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's nothing like here, but um, give me your thoughts, tell me what you think of Jump, you know, I really like it, um, after living in Patong for, you know, nine months, I think um, Jump, is a really cool place to go and live. You think this is busy? This is nothing, guys. This this is um before breakfast sort of thing. It's 11 o'clock here, and the place doesn't sort of wake up till around lunchtime. And um, yeah, it starts getting crazy in the afternoon and just goes from there. Like it's unreal. It really is unreal. Um, you know, I love it. I love to visit it and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm just not into so massively busy places. Trying to ride through here and stuff it's okay at the time but when you get back you think geez that's absolute chaos thank god i'm back in jump in you know coming up on our left guys is tree town now this is a pretty popular place for people the locals to eat it's pretty cool also now down this next street on our left that's um, where the buzzing bar if you've ever watched um, Trevor from buzzing potato I think it's called his bars down there now I, I was lucky enough to go down there with um, keys one and Dan the man or just Dan um, after Dan done the um, the tower um, I don't know what it was he, he had to sort of go down the side of a tower on a cable so it was pretty cool and I got to meet the guys and they were awesome so that was fantastic and um, we didn't get to see Trevor the buzzing guy because he wasn't there but um, we, we played pool and um, 
had a drink at his bar and it's a pretty good place and pretty good environment and yeah it was really really good so that um was a was a good day so i really enjoyed that and i met um chocolate man too chocolate man in thailand james um casino i think his name is and he's a really cool guy too yeah he's um got the gift of the gab and um yeah good character another good character so it was a really good day and um yeah something i really enjoyed i made a video about it that um it's called wrong bet dan so if you want to check it out on my channel called wrong bet wrong bet dan and it's a big yellow um thumbnail so check that out guys it was a good video and a good day So folks, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it the thumbs up and leave me a comment. Now also leave me a comment if there's anything you want to see or whatever around P Patio and whatever. I'm based at Jomtian, but um, I will make an effort to sort of do stuff if I think it's worthwhile. And um, most of the stuff that people tell me is worthwhile doing, so I look forward to your comments guys. And um, okay, now we're off to Jomtian. So, Stay with me for this one. Um, stick stick with the video, guys. It's a pretty good video, I think. Yeah, so guys, so um, first off, I had a... Um, 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 what do they call it? GoPro sound fail, so I had to do a voiceover. So I made this video, and I went through it and edited it, and I was really happy with it. I thought it was a great video. I thought I'd done a really, really good job. And um, anyway, so I went to download it from my computer, like from um, Final Cut Pro 10, and um, and it wouldn't download. So I mucked around with it a bit, and it turned out my hard drive was pretty much full. And um, so I sorted that out. Then I went to download it. And it would so this is a remake. So I'm just praying that this doesn't crash or something happened to this. Okay. Anyway, getting past that. All positive now. Okay. Check out Jomtian Beach, guys. How beautiful is Jomtian Beach? It's sensational. It's a magic place. Um, sort of reminds me a bit of the Gold Coast in Queensland, in Australia. It's sort of um, just got that sort of holiday vibe about it. Now, I really like it here, so um, I'm going to show you around and you tell me what you think, guys. So do you even know where Jomtian Beach is or have you ever heard of it before? Because it's probably the most southern suburb of um, Pattaya and um, a lot of people wouldn't know about it. So, But it is a really good place to stay. It's uh, got great accommodation, great hotels and you know great facilities and it's cheap guys. There's so, if you search around you can do some great deals on accommodation here. Look, I'll show you around the beach. I'm not going to take you through the whole beach because it's like seven kilometers long, but it's awesome. So I'll, I'll show you some highlights of the beach and um, some of the things I like about Jomtian. Now this beach is also really popular with the Thais. A lot of them come from Bangkok and all over and to party on the beach at night. So they come, they drink, they party on the beach. They, they usually congregate around some of the... Um, volleyball um, nets and they have a good time but let me tell you they're not a problem they don't cause anybody else any grief they come they drink they um, have a lot of fun they sleep on the beach and they're usually gone by about 10 11 the next morning but you know they cater for them they're cleaned up after and they never cause any drama I walk past them in the morning on in the mornings on my morning walk and they're fine you know so it's just the thing that they do and they enjoy and um, it's a bit of a spectacle bit to be honest um, early in the morning the lady boys are a, there's a stack of lady boys and um, yeah they run around playing volleyball and doing all kinds of stuff and um, it, it's uh, quite a spectacle coming up on our left guys is another great place it's the um, jobs in night market they sell food and they got a, I think a couple of bars there and um, it's a great place if you want to come and just have a bit of street food or, you know, they've got a good variety and, um, yeah, it's, and it's cheap. So you come up here, it's just up here on our left, you can see just there. And um, there's another one up the road as well, it's just behind the 7-Eleven um, on Boon Kanchana. Same sort of thing. It's Another great place coming up on our left is the Wombat and Kiwi Bars, one of my favourites. 
if you want a good burger or an egg and bacon roll, this is the place to go. Um, they also do Thai food and all their food's always good. It's very consistent, prices are excellent and it's really worth checking out. Yeah guys, up on the left here is one of my favourite streets, Boon Kanchana. Now, it's not the prettiest street in the world but it's got some great little bars and restaurants and stuff and yeah, it's a really good place so I really like it but I'll show you a bit of that later. So we're going to head further down the beach and I'll show you some other stuff. Check out the beach to our right guys. This is where the ladyboys get this, where these um, umbrellas are. They come down here near the um, volleyball courts and they party there. But like I said, they're not a problem. But check out the beach guys. How good is it? Big, it's wide. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice place. They've done a good job fixing it up and um, extending it and excavating it. So um, a few people have asked me to, to do a video about um, Pattaya Jomtien compared to um, Patong. And I've taken that into account and I'm going to do the video. I'm just going to do a bit of research so it's got a bit of a few facts behind it. And um, yeah, it makes sense. So um, that's coming in the next week or so. But um, I've got to say that I'm pretty impressed with this place. Like um, I'm sort of falling for it. Yeah, I never really fell for Patong. Like it always had... It's great things, like it had really nice beaches at some points and stuff like that and um, some real hidden treasures but then there was other things like the, the taxi system in Patong is shit. Um, yeah, it's, Patong's not always the best smelling place in the world and um, yeah, the, the drivers in Patong are terrible, like mainly the taxi drivers and stuff like that, they're just dead set dangerous and there was things like that that really ticked me off. Um, and the police, they used to blitz the place all over, the, the, they'd have roadblocks everywhere. So I used to get pulled over about three times a day some days and it was, you know, things like that used to really just shit me. Um, but here, it's not like that. Patea is a bit more like that, but here is pretty, a, a lot more relaxed and um, stuff. So anyway, that video is coming and um, I'm going to put it together over the next week. Okay guys, now I'm going to cut out some of the beach footage and I'm going to take you up some of the side streets or side soys and show you around um, Jompty in a bit and um, yeah, some pretty cool little streets and um, good places to go. You can see the short food coming out, getting lunch time. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to show you down some of the side streets or side soys now. There's some great stuff down here. This one, on our right, there's a great little uh, street food place there. It's sensational. The food's cheap and it's really, really good. It's worth checking out. Now, up here, these places are pretty devastated by um, COVID. So, a lot of them never made it back. But some of them are coming back. Doors are opening, which is good. And there's a lot of things up here. There's little restaurants. There's little um, laundry services. There's massages and all kinds of stuff up here. Um... And up the back the, uh, there's some uh, pretty good massage places, special massage places if you know what I mean. And um, there's even places for rent, you can rent these little places up here. I don't know what they'd be like, but um, anyway, they're for rent. So just up to our right here, you'll see a couple of girls in the orange. They're, they're yelling out, you can't hear, but um, I've had to change the soundtrack. And on the, just here on the right too, there's about three or four of them up here. Now they're great little massage places and um, they will do all kinds of stuff so um, the massage is 300 baht for a, like a oil massage or 200 baht for a traditional massage that's a Thai massage because they put a towel on your back and then sort of walk all over you with their hands and elbows and stuff it's pretty good and um, yeah for the other stuff it's usually a thousand baht it just depends on you and your negotiating skills sometimes you can better get it better sometimes you can't but that's the sort of going rate for that type of thing, if you know what I mean. Now this is a pretty good little soy too. This one's um, coming back to life. It's got restaurants and um, bars and all kinds of stuff and massage as well. So much like the other one, it's just this one's a bit prettier, that's all. 
um, laundry services and uh, it's just great to walk around and explore these places because there's just some real hidden treasures here and um, they're really worth checking out. If you're looking to find these places, they're located behind the Jomtian Beach Hotel. You can either access it from Beach Road or Second Road. So Jomtian Beach Hotel, enter the driveway there from either side and you'll find these places. Okay, next I'm going to take you to some more side streets or soys, but these are more bar and um, restaurant orientated for entertainment and um, places for you to go and just relax and um, enjoy the world. Okay, next one guys, Soy 7. Now this is a great little street, it's got some good bars and restaurants and um, the home of the 89 baht breakfast. This place on the left sells an 89 baht American breakfast. The only problem is, is when you order it, they give you a 189 baht breakfast. So you make sure, if you want the 89 baht breakfast, you say it. Because um, I had breakfast there and I went to pay the bill and it was over 200 baht and I only had breakfast and a bottle of water. I, um, I raised it with him, the guy went off his brain and um, I told him he was just deceiving people and it was just stupid. Anyway, I didn't make much of it and I just left and paid my bill. But just be aware guys. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of people in this um, soy um, and it's real busy at night. So it's a good little place, like I said, good restaurants. It's got a massage place. I think it's even got a nightclub now. I'm not a nightclub, a go-go bar or a girly bar and um, it's a good place, it's got a good environment, it's good music, um, yeah and it's, it's pretty laid back. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can find the name of the uh, go-go bar, the new one, it's just on here on our left, what's it called, there it is, okay there it is, Lips Lounge guys, so if you want to go to check out a girly bar, Lips Lounge, that's the new one. I think it's already open, so I might go and check it out myself. Next one, Soy 6. Now this is a good little street. I've been up here a few times. It's got some good places, some good bars and um, and some good restaurants as well and massage place. So it's worth looking at and uh, it's a good place to sort of wander around and have a bit of a look. The place on the right is pretty popular. It's a bit early guys, so just remember a lot of the bars aren't... Um, open as yet but um, the place comes to life in the afternoons like most places around here now the one thing you'll learn about um, Thailand it doesn't tend to open that early all the entertainment stuff opens late and, and closes late now up the other end of this street there's more bars but across the road from that there's a place called Rombo Market now it's a market sells food and knickknacks and it's got a lot of hairdressers and stuff in there but it's also got probably a dozen good bars in there as well. It had more, but because of um, COVID, only half of them are reopened so far. So I'm, I'd expect that the rest of them will probably open soon enough. But yeah, it's another good place to check out. And um, it's got sort of, the bars are a bit more open and a bit bigger in there. So it's a good place to go and if you want to have a game of pool with, you know, some of the bar girls. It's worth looking at.
Now next to Rombo Market, there's also one of the KISS food and drink centres. If you've been to Thailand, there's quite a few of these all over the place and they've got a great variety of food. They're cheap and um, they're usually packed because they're really, really good. Now they sell everything from burgers to Thai food and even pizza, I think. So um, they're a great place to go if you don't know what you want to eat, you know. And they've got um, subtle Thai food as well because some Thai food, I can't eat it. It's just too full on for me and the flavors are too rich or too spicy or whatever but they have like the the mild stuff like the chicken and cashew nuts and you know pack a pow and um the stuff that i like so it, it's pretty good you know so you get a sort of subtle taste and you get to sort of try some new flavors rather than burn your mouth out and be sick you know what i mean I hope the commentary works out for this video, I'm just laughing at myself, some of the dumb things I say, I'm just an Aussie, an Aussie in Thailand, but um, I'm having fun, but this video guys has been a nightmare to make, it's just, I won't get into it, but yeah, it's taken about five times as long as the video should take, but hopefully it'll be finished shortly, so, and ready to watch. Okay, next stop, guys. I think it's soy too. Now, this is um, uh, how do you explain this one? This is a, a little soy. It's pretty crammed in. The bars are tiny, and um, it's pretty <laughs> close. So, if you go into one of the bars in there, some of the bars have only fit ten, ten people in the bar, and there's not a pool table or anything. But it's pretty cozy, and um, yeah, you might get a marriage proposal in here. The, the girls are pretty keen to hook up with um, phalangs or people so anyway there's a bar up here called the sweeties i think it's the sweden bar you'll see a blue wall with a yellow cross on there um yeah there's a lot of girls in there they're pretty keen to go but it's all right like they're, they're good little places and they've got good environments there it is you can see the yellow cross on the right there there's no one there yet they open pretty late this place the blue door is a good bar too it's not open yet but um yeah these places have got a good environment and good vibe about them and um yeah, it's sort of real mixed business through here. There's a bit of everything, so it's worth checking out. And that place on the right that we just went past, that's a food place. And um, there's a lady boy that wanders around delivering food, and he's an absolute crack-up, and he screams like a, a cockatoo. Um, he's funny as. He was in one of my other videos. He's just a crack-up. Okay, rack em up, pool hall. I've never really seen anybody in there. I know it's open, but um, I've never seen anybody in there, so he's probably doing it a bit hard. Maybe it goes at night. I'll, I'll come up here through night time and um, have a look and then work out sort of how to video it. Because these places with bad lighting are, are pretty hard to sort of video. There's a gym in there, Hard Bodies. It's open, I know. I've seen people going in and out there. That's what I need to be doing, guys. With There's a free gym in my condo and I, I don't go to it I just walk okay guys now this, these little places have been really rocked by COVID like some of the other places and um, a lot of them are trying real hard to get back and it's pretty hard for them to make a dollar so come for a wander around and up these side streets because there you'll meet some great people and see some great things Okay, next street or soy, soy 5. Now this one's a busy street, uh, 
home of Cheap Charlie's is real popular bar. There's stacks going on up here, um, but there's also the immigration um, centre up here. So for all um, anybody that's uh, in Thailand, like me, if you're on a visa or a retirement visa or whatever, you have to check in every 90 days. So you have to go to one of these centres and um, check yourself in so they know where you are. And um, yeah, so you get a lot of people up the other end near the immigration centre on certain days. But no, this is a good good place. It's got plenty of bars and it's got you know everything that um, a lot of the other streets have got. You can get a haircut. There's clothes shops. There's you name it. There's pharmacies, um, restaurants. It's got everything. It's got a couple of hotels along here that are pretty good. And um, there's some cheap accommodation around here as well. In some of these side streets, there's some real good accommodation that you know from I believe as low as four thousand baht for an air conditioned room, which is pretty good. Now to be a pretty basic room for that. But it is what it is, you know. You see a few other street food carts and that along here. They, they know what days are busy down here and you see like heaps of them down here on the busy days. And again, it runs up to the back onto Rombo Market. And across the road, folks, that's that KISS um, food and drink centre that I was talking about. You Now, you have to go there. They're great. Like, um, yeah, it's a bit of a no-brainer to go to there for a lunch one day. Okay, so next we're going to Rombo Market, so it's only going to be a quick sweep through there and then um, I think that'll do it for the day. You get the idea of uh, what's available in Jump In. There's a stack more, a stack more places everywhere, but um, yeah, this will give you a basic idea. So you've got your Kiss Food Restaurant just up here on our left, just there. And you can see the start of Rombo Market and as you see the, yeah, there's the market on our left. And next is the driveway and all the bars on our right. So this is a good little place to come. It's not so crowded. Um, and I, I get my hair cut here all the time because there's about five different hairdressers along here. So I just get the clippers anyway. So it doesn't really matter who does it. But it's cheap. 120 baht for a haircut whether you get clippers or a proper haircut. Now this... This bar on the corner is pretty good. Girls in there are pretty friendly. And this one coming up, I can't read what it is, but done the blue sign there. Just um, be careful of that bar, guys. It's got uh, half the girls are and girls in that one. So yeah, there's a few lady boys up here. And up the back here, just on the side, there's a little shop, and it's a burger shop. And it's got the best hot dogs. So if you want a good hot dog, um, there is no such thing as a good hot dog in Australia. They're all crap. But um, if you want a good hot dog, guys, come up here. And um, this little place is closed, but that one there, you can see with the orange around the bottom, makes good burgers and hot dogs, so check it out. Last soy of the day, guys, Boon Kanchana. Not a pretty street, but it's one of my favourites. It's got some great bars, and I've got to know a few of the people up here, and they're great. Okay, so there's Anna and there's Pim. Um, Anna's bar is now shut, but Pim has the Dragon Bar up here. She owns it, and um, she has some good girls working for her. A great place to go and have a beer. The beer's a reasonable price. The girls will play pool with you, and you'll have a good time. And speaking of the devil, there she is. Haha. <laughs> yeah, she's a great lady. Check it out, guys. It's, like I said, it's only early, but... Um, yeah, it's a good street, and it's uh, there's a lot to do in this street as well, and there's good food along here as well. So, anyway, I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching.